Hello and welcome to this video on the VBA Advanced Filter. Now if you've seen my video on how to make your macros run a thousand times faster, then you know that one of the key components of doing this is using the VBA Advanced Filter. So I'm going to show you exactly how to use the Advanced Filter with VBA in this video. Now the advantages of the VBA Advanced Filter is number one that it's the best way to filter and copy data in VBA. The reason for this is that it requires very little code, way less code than any of the others, because we're essentially calling the advanced filter. Number two, copying individual columns is simple. When we're trying to copy individual columns with all other methods, such as using for loops or arrays, it can get very complicated. The next advantage is that it automatically copies the formatting. So with many of the other methods, you have to actually, with, within the code, format the columns and format the cells after you copy, and this can get very messy, but Advanced Filter does this for you. And finally, as we'll see in a couple of slides, the Advanced Filter is the king of speed. It's faster than any other method. So some of the limitations, everything has its good and bad. So the limitation of the Advanced Filter, it's really good at filtering data and then copying that data, but it cannot be used for something like grouping data, which is what we'd use like a pivot table for, or we'd, we'd maybe use a for loop. And also you cannot update values. So what this means is that you're basically filtering the data and copying it. And then what you have as a result of the original data, you can not actually change it. But you can use the advanced filter to, to filter copy data and then maybe update it in some way. So these are some of the kind of benchmark testing that I did. When we're using individual columns, you can see the different methods I used. I used the for loop, the for loop using the array. I've used auto filter and even ADO, which is database objects. And you can see that advanced filter copy to range is way faster than all the rest. Just 62 milliseconds for 100,000 records compared to for assign, which was 1600 milliseconds. Now, if we go to copy in rows, it's that you can actually see there's a huge difference. Now the worksheet function index is, is obviously very slow, but even like using the range copy or copy from record set, you can see that the advanced filter is the winner every time. So now that we've seen why we should use the advanced filter, let's go ahead and see exactly what it does and how it works. Okay, so let's see what exactly advanced filter is. So to use advanced filter, we basically go to the ribbon and select the data tab. And under the data tab, we go to sort and filter and then advanced. And this is the advanced filter that we're gonna be using with VBA. So to use the advanced filter, what we need is two main items. We need the data that we're going to filter, which is this data you can see on the left. And we need the criteria. So this is the criteria here, and we're going to filter on salespeople called Tom. So how we use advanced filter is actually very simple. We select advanced filter. We're going to filter in place. Now later we're going to copy to another location. Then we select the range of data that we're going to be copying or filtering. And then we select the criteria range, which is basically here. And then we simply select OK, and it filters the data. So let's just do it again. Let's say we want all sales greater than 2000. Then we can select advanced, leave what we have in place because it's correct and we click OK. And you can see that it filtered by all sales that are greater than 2000. So that's how we use the advanced filter. Now, if we want to copy somewhere, so let's say we're gonna to copy to G1. All we do is say copy to another location and then we put G1 in place. We click OK and you can see that it copied the result somewhere else. Now, as I said, in the intro, the big advantage of advanced filter is that it copies the data much faster than any other method. Now, a second big advantage of the advanced filter is that if we're using VBA and we want to just copy the columns, the code becomes very messy because it's quite easy to copy a row, but if we want to just copy individual columns, then we need extra code to select them. But with the advanced filter, it's actually much easier. We can just do this, we can just say, sales and let's say quantity 
and they're the only columns we want back and we want them back in the order of sales and quantity but well, what we can actually do is we can say advanced filter copy to another location and that location that we're going to copy to is here then we click OK and you can see that it just returned these columns so this is very very useful when we're using VBA code so now that we've seen exactly what the advanced filter is let's have a look at some VBA code and see how we can use it so to use the advanced filter in the code is actually very simple so I'm going to use range variables because this makes it much clearer what I'm doing so range data is the range of the data that we're going to filter and range criteria is obviously the criteria that we're using now we set the ranges like this we say set range data equal and we get the worksheet which is the worksheet call data we get the range which is a5 and then we use current region and this returns us back all the data now if you don't know current region let me just clear this filter first to explain so we go to data and clear to clear the filter so if we're anywhere here and we press control asterisk or on most keyboards it's control shift 8 and this highlights everything so it highlights all the adjacent data so that's what the current region does it brings us back the adjacent data the range of the adjacent data so we've got the range of the data that we're bringing back now what we want to do is we want the criteria so we use the same code but we're using a1 so the current region of a1 and then it's quite simple we just use the range data range and we use advanced filter on that so advanced and you can see the parameters come up we want to filter in place at first and we're using range criteria and that's all we need to do so very little code you can see to filter now let's run this code we we'll get rid of the highlight here so let's run this code and see what happens so we ran the code and you can see that it worked perfectly it just filtered and you can see that we used very little code to do this so let's try just another example and we'll just say quantity is less than five less than we'll say less than equal five and again we run the code and you can see that it brought back everywhere where the quantity is less than five so if we want to for example clear the filter so if at some point we kind of say okay we want to clear the filter go back how we do it is as follows we need to get the worksheet like this so we basically say if the worksheet filter mode is true then we want to show all the data on that worksheet so we use we check if filter mode is true because if we try show all data and there, it isn't a filter we get an error so let's run the code you can see that it cleared our filter so you can see that using the advanced filter requires very little code and it is very fast so what we want to do now is we want to filter and copy so let's get rid of this data what we're going to do is we're going to copy to another worksheet which is the output worksheet and how we do this is very simple so I'm going to just copy this code and I'm just going to alter it slightly so what we want is we want another range and that's the range that we're going out so the output as range and then the output will go here and instead of filtering in place we're going to be doing filter copy and you can see so we just filter copy the criteria and the output so to get the output very simple again we just set the range here and our range output is going to be the output worksheet now we don't need to say current region we can just specify a1 
And let's run this code now. So, yeah, so we should, we should rename this to copy. And so let's run it again. And you can see that it brought out all the values that match the criteria. So let's do it again. I always like to use something like Tom to make it very obvious or a name. So let's this time do Mary. There's only two records with Mary. And let's run this code. Now we'll go to the output. Let's run this code. So you can see, so this is the, the important point. You can see that it's bringing back a lot of data. So the important thing that we have to do here is we have to delete the previous data. So we do that quite simply like this. We get the worksheet and we use the cells property and we use clear contents. And this will remove all the data. So let's put the breakpoint here. We run through the code, clears all the data, and then we run it on and it puts in the correct data. So that's how we use advanced filter. And as I said at the start, using advanced filter to copy like this is the fastest way. Now the big advantage, as we've seen when we're using it in Excel, is that we can just bring back the columns that we want in any order that we want. So for example, if we just wanted to bring back sales and say we want to bring back quantity and we don't, and we'll say the salesperson we want to be third. So salesperson, and we don't want the sales. So what we want to do is we want to clear the data. So let's just change this to be, we'll say it's John this time. <clears throat> so what we want to do is clear the data, but we don't want to clear the header. So that's not so hard to do. We basically just do current region. We do, we do range A1. So range A1, current region. And that gives us back all the data. So set range. So I'm just doing this in more than one line just to make it clear. So range as range. So we get the current region that will give us back all this data. What we have to do is select the columns we want and it brings them back. The problem with all the other ways of copying data is that it gets really messy when we have to pick individual columns. We have to have specific code to copy the specific columns. In the case of advanced filter, we don't need any extra code. We just have to have the headers in our output. So one more cool thing to show you with the advanced filter, and this is going back to using the filter in place. So every time so far that we're filtering in place here, we have to run the code. So we'd have to have a button and the user has to click it. But what would be nice is that if every time we change something here, it would actually run the filter for us. So how we do that is not actually that difficult at all. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the worksheet. So we go to the worksheet in our window here, and the worksheet is the data worksheet. We double click on it, and this shows us the code window. And what we, we, we select worksheet, and that brings us up a sub or an event that we don't need. But let's select the one we do need first of all, which is change. So this, this sub runs when a change happens to any cell on this worksheet. And not only does it run, it gives us target which is the actual range of cells that change. So what we want to do in here, first of all, is we want to kind of qualify that the target that changed was in the criteria. So in other words, if someone changes F2, we don't want to do anything, but if they change something along here, well then we want to run the filter. So how we do that is we use application.intersect. So this checks if two ranges intersect, it returns a row, or it returns a range. If they don't intersect, it returns nothing, is basically what it's called. So we check it against target, and we check it against then, as we did before, we can just use sheet data dot range a1 dot current region. Now I haven't used sheet data like this before, but sheet data here is essentially the one you see on the left, we call it the code name of the worksheet. So the one on the left of the parentheses is the code name and we can access this directly. 
So I'm basically saying, if this, so is there a common range between these two? In other words, is the target cell within our criteria? So if it's not nodding, so if this doesn't return nodding, so we say if not is nodding, then we want to call our advanced filter. This guy. And else, the second thing we want to say is, so we actually want to do this one beforehand. We want to first of all say, okay, we'll just, we'll just leave this for the moment and we'll do it in a second. So basically if it happens in this place, so if target dot cells dot count. So this is something we always do. If more than one cell changes, we don't want to do anything. So if more than one cell is brought back to us, we basically exit the sub. So that's just kind of a standard thing we do in the worksheet change event. Otherwise, we check if the cell is part of the filter and if it is, we filter in place. So we've got John here and let's say we change John to Anne, we press return. You can see that it filtered. Now let's say we only want a quantity belonging to Anne that's greater than five. You can see that it filtered in place. So one problem with this code, so it's all, that's all good. So the one problem is when we delete our filter, we, want, we should delete the entire filter, but it doesn't do that at the moment because what happens is it just goes in and tries to apply a filter. And if there's, a, there's no criteria there, it just doesn't do anything. But what we wanted to actually do is clear the filter. So it's quite easy to do that. We basically just say, if sheet data dot, so basically if the criteria is only one row, that means there's no filter. So if the criteria dot rows dot count equals one, then let's clear the filter. Otherwise, let's check if it's valid. So, okay, let's put in uh, John. And that should be, she did it just there twice. So let's run it again. So let me just run that one more time. So let's put in Tom and you can see that it, it did Tom. So let's delete Tom. And now you see it's, it's cleared the filter. Now, if we change a value over here, it doesn't do anything because it's outside the range. We go to sales and we say greater than 1,500. And you can see that it brought us back the values greater than 1,500. So this is quite useful if you want to use the worksheet change event with the filter. So that's the advanced filter and that's how to use it. In the next video I do on, on the advanced filter, what I'm going to do is look at using multiple criteria and I've got even one kind of trick where we use a formula that you probably haven't seen before. So if you like this video and you'd like to see more, then please click on the subscribe button or just check out some of the other videos that I have within my playlists.